Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza Hunter Brandon, and welcome back to another episode of Ark, Arkmon, the Pokemon mod. Uh, you can call me Dumbass if you'd like. That would be a, a pretty fitting name for me. If you guys didn't watch the uh, the video that I uploaded um, yesterday, or earlier, not yesterday, but earlier in the day, I should say, with the Blastoise, um, save yourself the trouble and go watch it. It was basically me grinding up for about an hour don't want to spoil anything but uh it was basically me grinding up for about an hour and a half to tame a blastoise when uh you know i i use 50 trank arrows doesn't knock him out uh you know i go to get a club to knock him out because i'm desperate at that point and i run up to it and it says um well put berry or put food in to tame passively so i spent a lot of time Thinking that I was going to tame a level 108, uh, you know, <laughs> thinking I was going to tame a level 108 Blastoise, and it turns out that it was a passive tame the entire time. Lady, I believe, is the word to be used there. So, uh, welcome everybody back to another ARC episode. I gotta be quiet, it is pretty late in the evening, <laughs> early in the morning, I should say. One, well, actually, no, nah, it's only 1.30 a.m., I'd say late in the day, uh, late in the night, late in the night would be better. Uh, early in the morning, I think, is when it crosses to, like, 4.30, 5 o'clock is when it considered, like, early in the morning. But, uh, I can't actually, I don't actually know what happened to the blast, so I took some time off to just edit the video. So it's been about an hour since I came on. I hope the Blastoise is still alive. I actually don't know what's going on with it. Also, I'm a little bit encumbered as to what. Uh, I've got some stone and wood on me for some reason. We're going to take that out from right there. Yo, Blastoise, you, um... If this guy left, I'm actually going to be like... What happened to him? Where did the Blastoise go? Guys, this is... I really wanted to tame him this episode. Where did the Blastoise go? I'm gonna be like really sad if the Blastoise isn't here. Um, my dude, are you around or am I blind? You wouldn't have walked all the way over here, even though I think it's where I kind of chased you off to. But I don't see him. Is he over in the trees here? Did he die? No, he couldn't have. That wouldn't have happened. How the hell would he have died? I guess maybe something attacked him and he had low health from the arrows that I shot into him, but that doesn't make any sense. He's been around. This area is virtually safe. I think the Blastoise that I was going to tame and actually have a really like stoked time to do so isn't here anymore. In fact, what's weird is that there's a lot of Pokemon that aren't here anymore, which usually doesn't happen because that blast has been here for um, a couple. Hasn't it been a couple days now? Maybe it hasn't. Maybe it hasn't. Weird. Um, yeah, there's no aside from a Dialos, which wouldn't have killed him. There's no hostile mobs. I guess rip the Blastoise unless I'm blind. I mean, maybe I don't see it and you guys do, which if that's the case, I'm incredibly sorry. Um, wow. Alright, well, that's a little bit unfortunate then. I guess, um, we gotta go find a, like, some sort of replacement tame, or possibly find another. I'd be down to look for another Blastoise, because I really do want to tame one. That was a level 108, though. I'm not gonna settle until I get at least some sort of Pokemon level 100 tame. That's what I want to venture out and do today. Uh, and if I can't do that, then I'm gonna be kind of upset. Like, this Arcanine over here, wasn't there? Yeah, there's an Arcanine right over there, level 32. Those guys, uh, yeah, we're not messing with them or getting anywhere close. I mean, there's a bunch of these dudes, and I think these are passive tames, and there's a level, um, isn't this a level, wait, level 8. Where is the level 100? Is this a level 100 here? 16. What happened to the level 100? There was another level 100 somewhere, like level 100 plus, along the edge here. But now I can't even find this guy. Did, like, all the high level, ooh, I like that little shift tone in the color. Did all the high level, no, is it this one right here? Is this the one? Level 20 and level 8. First off, why are there so many? But second off, where did, oh my god, there's actually a ton. Level 12 and there's another one, level 28. My god, it's literally, it's a frenzy. There's another one over there. I'm finding more as I go along. For, there, there are so many. 16. Level 16. They're all, like, what? I want to kill one to get, like, a bunch of meat because I need some meat for my bird. But at the same time, like, there's actually too many... One of these has got to be, like, above level 100 or something of that nature, right? 
I mean, there's none right now. Maybe they just haven't, like, loaded in or anything. I'm keeping an eye on my stamina for my burger because I don't want to lose it. But I kind of just want to do a little quick zap. Probably not the best idea, but I've got a bit of stamina on this guy, so I'm able to do that. Um... Not a single high level, but yet I swear there was one before. Maybe there will be something, like, up here? I don't know if there's any other Pokemon that would spawn over here. Uh, Vaporeons don't spawn here, despite them being a water type, which I, snow and water, eh, it correlates. I'm going to go venturing out for a little bit and try finding a Pokemon. I'll let you guys know if I find anything, because at the moment, I'm kind of racked with a ton of disappointment. Are you a level 100-something? 24. I don't understand. Um, special SE loot crate. Scorched Earth? Um, oh, I can't take it. Is it because I'm not, I'm level 40? Special SE Loot Crate. Equip a thorny dragon with this to ride it. Primitive Rock Golem. Primitive... Why can't I take all from him? Oh! You can't take this one? I guess it's got no... Oh, it's a skin! That makes sense. Rock Golem Saddle and Thorny Dragon Saddle. Okay. So, that's actually kind of cool. There's an Onyx over there. What level is the Onyx? You are a level 40. So nothing quite yet. It's a Dodrio and... Ooh! There's a, um... Oh, level 56 Nidoking. Nidoking would be so crazy to tame. I'm going to take a screenshot of this, and I'm going to fly around for a little bit trying to venture. Because this is cool. I wonder if it, like, just disappears after a while or something. But, damn, okay. Oh, my God. Well, there are three Charizards. A level 1. A level one. And a level one. I freaked out about there being one level one last episode. And you're gonna you're gonna tell me. You are going to tell me that there are three level ones. That there are three level ones. Now here's the thing that I wanna like get across because are you a passive tame? I don't think so. I do not believe that you are a passive tame. No. So I tried taming a level 1 last episode. And, uh... It did not... At least... Okay, let me just make sure here for a second, right? That these guys aren't passive tames. Because I really don't think that they are. I've got Mijo Berries in my inventory. And I can't... No, I can't. Okay, I can't interrupt. I'm just making sure. I'm double making sure. I tried taming a level 1 last episode with Tranquilizer Arrows. The thing got killed. Um, I was alternating in the normal way that I would be because those guys attack and they burn. So, you know, I didn't want my bird to die at all. And they just died. So, am I really down to go for a level 1? No, I'm going to wait until I can find a better one. It's level 12 versus a Rex. I have a feeling... Oh, oh, more Pokemon. I like... Oh, Dodrio. Dodrio's dead. Machamp just murked both of them. Okay, then. Oh, look at that. We have a... Th How have I not seen these before? We have a third one of these things. Insane. What are you going to give me? What do you got? Uh, I think I'm going to have to kill this guy before I can really look inside, though. What level are you? You're only level 16. Okay, I don't want to get knocked out or anything. That could be a thing that happens here. I actually got to be kind of careful because I do not want my torpidity to get me killed in this situation here. Because if I get knocked out, I'm dead. And if I die in this series... I have not died in this series. I don't think yet. I don't think that I have yet. So, I'm kind of holding, you know, a little bit of pride about that. Now, I'm going to go in here and get whatever this is and take all from inventory. Wow, it's all blueprints for... I mean, blueprints for all this sort of stuff. Is it, like, can you learn these things with engrams? Because if you can, then great. If you can't... Well, if you can't, then great. But if you can, then what's the bloody point of any of these? Or if I'm just getting terrible... I'm probably just getting terrible drops. Uh, I do want to tame up Bronto one of these days, too. Because with the amount of narcotics that we're going to need to just tame everything and anything in the server... Uh, we're going to need a lot of narcotics, so we should probably get on that soon. But I believe this is around the area. At least it was in this field that Ho-Oh was. So I'd be really down to take a look uh, and try taming. I, I, I don't know what I want to tame. I'm just looking. Those guys are pretty cool. We got a level 104 Machamp. 
So that's the thing. Those guys are pat. You know what? I'd be down to him at Machamp. They're passive, aren't they? I believe that they are. Level 36 Nido King and level 44 Nido King. So those guys are both beasts. So I'm going to need some... Uh, this is a really risky area to tame stuff in, though, because there is a shit ton of bad creatures around here. Uh, that Rex, for example, where we see a level 44. Do not want to mess with him at all. Uh, let me see if I can just go ahead and get some Mija Berries and try taming this guy up. I know it's going to take a while. Uh, if I can just get one... There we go. One should do it for right now. So, I have to go up to this guy, but be stealthy about it. I know that I can't, like, get too close. Like, if I go ahead and feed Mija Berry Tame. Okay, so there you go. Level 51. Awesome. So, whether or not this is going to be the greatest tame... I mean, I think he's... I think he's fast. I think Machamp's decently fast. I think Nido King's one of the fastest on the server, but I think Machamp's got a pretty decent speed here. So I might need to grab up some berries um, and hope that that Rex doesn't come after him because I'm pretty sure if any damage happens to him, even if not inflicted for me, I think it's going to affect a taming multiplier. And I'm pretty sure that Rex is about to go after him or turn around. If he wants to turn around and not even worry about him, that's fine by me. Um, but I just wish I had some goddamn Mija berries on me. And I also hope that those Nido Kings didn't just get angry at me. Now they're angry at the Onyx for some bloody reason. All right, yep. Yeah, so those guys are keeping steady. And I'm over here gathering up some Mijos. I wish there was, like, a better way to get them on the fly. You know what I mean? I know I need, you know, dinos for that. But I'm just lazy, okay? I could go back home and I could get the trike or whatever but it's just not really something that i'm down to do if this is the one i think it's level 104 right and yes you are oh wait until it's up. okay well uh this might take a while <laughs> uh, i remember the blast toast i tried out a little bit before i ended off the recording and considered it a wrap on a more failure tone of an episode uh took a while took a pretty long while this one might also take a pretty long while so in the meantime here i'm just gonna make sure it's argentavis is that argentavis above me yeah, I think it was. It's not angry at me. That's another... Yeah, we got a lot of creatures around here that are going to really start getting angry at me soon. There we go. Gave him another. And, I mean, I think a taming effectiveness. By the end of this, this should be, I want to hope, a level 150 tame. Uh, and I'm in the books right now. If something attacks it and it brings on the multiplier at all, I'm really keen for, like, waiting it out and trying it over again just to see if we can get a really high level. Because, I mean, it would make sense... Uh, this guy's not good on melee damage, though. I wonder if he has any other roles, like gathering berries, gathering, like, a lot of wood or thatch, because then we might level up, um... Well, I guess either way. If he doesn't have any of those, we'll level up, like, his movement speed or something. Um, but if he has any, like, a role or a, his attack is decent, which I don't think it is, we can level up melee damage. Eh, we might... I'm not sure. I'm trying to make sure that my commentary pieces together as well, because I'm not really used to commenting while being quiet. So it's like, I'm probably going to say um a lot and a lot of more filler words. So my apologies on that. It's just not uh, not really in my tone. Hopefully the commentary still sounds good. You know what I mean? I'm trying to just not talk as loud, because I, I project loudly, if you've ever heard me uh, talk, commentate in person, which very likely you haven't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just kind of waiting it out right now. Let's just see if he has any... Uh, I've got a level up. I forgot about that. Yeah, can you be fed right now? Oh, you can. Okay. I got to make sure to keep on him because there's going to be a situation where I forget and he's going to lose all of his taming multiplier. Even though I think it's... I don't know. The thing that I hate the most right now has to be that I'm on the... I just got so lucky that he didn't get angry at me. Wow. I just ran right in front of him by accident. I don't like that I'm on this bird. I really, 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 really do not like that I'm on this bird right now, and I want this bird to leave. I'm going to put my Pteranodon up here. It doesn't look like there's too many dangerous things. Like, there was one Rex, and if the Rex happens to come around me for whatever reason, then I'll run to my bird. But for right now, I just do not want to have to worry about picking up and down, up and down, sitting down next to it, getting pissed off at the bird or something, just whatever it could be. Um, oh god, oh god. Okay, calm down a little bit there. There you go. I gotta start getting a few more Mija Berries as well. We're doing, we're not doing too bad. We're actually doing pretty good. Oh wow, actually, you know what? This guy is, uh, really draining hunger quite fast now, it would seem. Um, it's only been like a couple seconds now since the last one, whereas the first one took about a solid minute, so... I don't know if it's like after the first initial bit, like the hunger starts going down a little bit more rapidly. But this is turning into a fairly, I mean, I want to say easy tame. I know that just, oh, this thing's uncon. This is an unconscious bird? Was that a Nido King that knocked it out? It says tameable by anyone. I've never seen that before. 
Wow. So anyone, if they wanted to, could go up to this Argentavis and tame it. I guess I will. Like, yeah, I'm down. Could I get my bird to come back here? Like, dude, my bird's got some food on it. I know I kind of hit it there a little bit, which I apologize, but I don't want to lose this opportunity of knocking down an Argentavis because that's like, that's really good. You know what I mean? Let me get some food out of you. Uh, I've actually got some prime meat. That would do me really well if I can get it to you before it spoils. Uh, prime meat, and then there you go. Maybe you've been starved a little bit too, so it might be easier. I gotta keep on top of this guy. That was our main... This is the main guy we gotta worry about. There we go. Feed me, Jaberry. Very nice. He's doing very well. How about the Argentavis, though? What a turn of events. I mean, what is it gonna be? Yeah, it's only plus 12 levels. The taming's already almost done. The taming's already almost done. That's insane. I know I upped the multiplier, but I think I might have upped the multiplier a little bit too much. I think that's just because it got starved. Which I, I've heard is a very viable taming strategy. It's just holding out and waiting. And then dropping all the food in at once, pretty much. Um, but that's just like... That's super quick. That is that is super quick right there. Like, wow. Um, here, let me get another... Okay. 104. Alright. This is... Jesus Christ. Is the Argentavis, like, tamed yet? Are you done? You're gonna be in, like, a second. In fact, actually, three, two, one, and... There you go. Um... K. I'm just gonna name it K. I don't think that worked. That didn't work for some reason. It didn't work. Okay, well, um, awesome. We gotta... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm game. Okay, we're in the middle of taming him a champ. We got an Argentavis now that I gotta make sure does not get in the way of this Machamp and ruin my tame currently, so we're gonna tell you to stop, please. Thank you very much. Level 56, I mean, it's not like a low level or anything. Dude. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this has just been a great day overall. I don't have a saddle for you. What level do I need to be to get an Argentavis out? I should really, uh, I have to be level 55. So let me go ahead and get the last bit of weight. So now I've got 300 weight, so I'm good on that, and I can start putting levels into melee damage. Um, so that's gonna be really nice. But yeah, as you guys can see, the Mijo Berries are really, like, going through right now. It's three Mijo Berries, four off of one bush. I like that a lot. Um, this is sick. I actually gotta check my Discord. John hit me up saying if he wants to crush an arc for sometime soon, so I'll hit him up when I'm done with this, because I'm a little bit... John, I love you, man, but I'm a little bit concentrating right now, I'm gonna be honest. If we can get this guy, and then this... That's so, like, I was about to just pass it off, too. I'm like, oh, it's an unconscious Sergeant Davis. Meh, whatever. Not gonna... Oh, it's an unconscious Arch Davis. I'll take it. Imagine if it was, like, some sort of, like, unconscious, like, Quetzal. I know that would never happen. Never say never. <laughs> never say never. Could always happen. Would be down. Um, there, feed me, Jaberry. Yeah, 48 levels. He's a level 104. So by the time this is over, he'll guarantee be level 150. I don't know his stats right now, obviously. There's no way to check. But I think I need maybe three more Mesa Bears. We got 15 on our body right now. I almost, like, don't want to stop. I'm on a hype train. Argentavis, check. Nara, check, obviously. And then this guy, check. Is there anybody else that we want? I'm in a taming mood today. This has been great. <laughs> I know I'm, like, not cutting up or anything right now or, like, cutting up the content. But I don't want to because I want you guys to get the full grasp of this is not taking that long at all. And soon I'll be able to ride I hope... I hope this guy's good for something. You know what I mean? I... Maybe a Machamp... Does a Machamp also knock out with Topor? Because if a Machamp knocks out things with Topor, then that could be really useful as well. That could be incredibly useful. But we'll have to test it on, like, I don't know, a Bronto or a... Uh, no, we could test it on, like, a Parasaur or something. Just something really simple. Because we've got a level 150 Taming Machine. I clicked it right when it said not even ready it didn't even have a chance to say to eat that was insane so we got one more all we need is one more and we're good level 152 i'm calling it. it's not going to go down anymore it's going to be level 152 and i'm going to say in 20 seconds but i want to go test it on this parasaur after i get this guy's tame imagine he like freaks out i don't want to say it but i'm always that guy to be like yo dude what if he like t doesn't turn around or whatever or like he turns around and the tame gets ruined like right there what if he noticed you and just the whole thing is just that probably upset me a ton um wait until it's hungry again come on man there it is there's my boy oh you look so good what do we want to name it you know what 
I'm gonna be that guy. I don't think I don't actually know if I have Pokemon Go open on my phone like on my recents. No, I don't. I gotta wait for it to open. I want to name it in relative to. No, because I, I don't know if I have a good name for my Machamp. I don't think that I... No, I don't. I don't. What do we want to name this guy? He kind of looks like a Chester to me, but more like a blocky Chester. Like a Chester that got made fun of for being called Chester. It's a good name, by the way. But like a guy who got picked on in school and then, you know, grew up and got buff and like is ready to kick some ass at people. So like, what do we... Know? Oh, sh... Oh, oh... Oh, 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 shit, 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 shit. Machamp, neutral, neutral, kick its ass, kick its ass, come on, man. Come on, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. I'm keeping him away, come on. I don't really have, like, a good standing ability right now to be able to get this guy, so I'm just gonna whistle everything neutral. There you go, neutral, and let's help him out. How are you doing on health? Oh, you're doing pretty well. And he's on fire, and there's the raptor dead. What lit him on fire? What lit this guy on fire? Did you let him on fire? I don't know if he did or not, but okay. Um, I kind of got freaked out because it was a level 104, but I have to realize that I could take a level 104 easily with the armor that I've got. I don't know why I was scared of that. I, I, I'm weird. But, um, so I can ride this guy. He's not very fast, can't jump. His attack is four punches, even though I think he doesn't... Does he use his upper arms? Yeah, he does. I think so. So, stats, 239%. He's got decent weight, 309, 106% movement speed. Uh, let's test and see whether or not this guy can knock out this Stego. Like, does he inflict Topor? Oh, shoot, actually. Um, passive, all of you. Passive, please. Do you inflict Topor, or is it purely damage? Because if it's purely damage, I'm going to be kind of upset. Because I think that's purely damage. It looks like it's purely damage. No way. Ah. That's, his attack is really not, it's really not good. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean... Are you good for at least, like, gathering resources? Like, if I was to tell you to... You can't even do that. Do you have a right-click attack? You don't have a right-click. Do you have a C attack? No, he has nothing except a few punches. He can break a tree down in two hits, it seems. But he doesn't... Oh. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hey. Um, do you want to get off my... Bird, please. Thank you kindly. I don't want to attack my bird, which I kind of am right now. Uh, I can't even, like... I legitimately can't even get off to attack this guy. Because, there you go, he killed him. I want to say this guy is useful, but at the same time... His attack is just bad. <laughs> like, I was really stoked for this. But I don't think he's that good of a Pokemon. What's that Pokemon over there? Who's that guy? That is another Machamp. At a level of 44. So even worse. I mean, how's his stamina while running? It's not bad. I don't think it's that great either. It's definitely not that great. Um, you know what? It's it's cool. I'm okay with it. I'm not upset or anything. I'm not I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. It's weird because this guy has a level up. Like he's ready to level up. I just don't know what I want to level him up in. Like wait. I don't does he want to be like a bulk guy because I his weight's not big enough to really like have a purpose in that movement speed is ass right now I guess maybe like I don't know because we don't need a, a movement speed guy and we don't really need melee he's not good his attack isn't great I'm not going to use him for that so like just maybe I don't know wait I don't I'm just gonna level up his movement speed because there's no other like I mean, he's good for right... He's okay for right now, you know what I mean? Like, he's a good solution to get around. His stamina is not great. He does move... Ooh, I liked being able to move left and right using the arrow keys. That's a little something. You can't run backwards or anything. You can't run side to side. But... Not Ariana Grande up in this bitch. But... Yeah, just... No. I, I'm not the biggest fan. Especially being a level 152. I, I think, personally, I'm gonna recommend Cheese to up his uh, attack because it either needs to be stronger, which it, I, I think it needs to be stronger regardless, but I think it also needs to be a little bit more, um, you know, for having four punches, I think it needs to be a little bit wider because on that Parasaur, uh, was it a Parasaur? 
on the stego actually it was i wasn't even able to get like more than one hit in because the stego just keep was like way behind me and my body's too big and i kept getting knocked back i couldn't get like a couple hits or like run into him at all which should have really been the case in a fight like that so i'm gonna suggest that the attack gets upped now i think it'll be better because i mean it's a nice thing about having a developer you know be a really really nice guy that loves your feedback I think, you know, if we all come to the conclusion, you know, yeah, Machamp needs a buff, then it's like, there you go. Machamp gets buffed. At least, obviously, if he's okay with it, you know, 100%. But just my personal opinion, I think he really needs to be buffed. Yeah, like, it's a prime example right here. Like, I'm in the middle of trying to hit this thing here, and I'll go for one swing, and I can't even connect it because it, like, brings me back too much. The reach on it needs to be upped or something because I just can't, I can't kill a whatever these things are. I forget the freaking names. But if I can't kill these things, seriously, what's the point? I shouldn't be able to just, you know, swing a couple times. I should ground pound that shit. Like, I don't know. What would, like, an earthquake or, like, a rock slam or something, I think the move's called? I don't freaking know. It needs something. Like, imagine if you could pick up a rock and just hurl it at something. Like the, um, the, what's it called? The stone guy. Imagine you could, like, pick up a rock like him and just... Whoosh, throw it at him you know what i mean anyway until you get buffed welcome home and you will be staying there now as for uh nara i'm gonna ask you both very kindly to go ahead and get over here so you uh you need a saddle awesome you welcome to the club and then uh nara's just on the outside we'll get back to you in a little bit okay so i've actually got a little bit of news here you guys have all you'll have already seen maybe actually no 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 you won't uh, John's hitting me up right now because he's got to do some pre-grinds. He's going to be away, I think at PAX, I think it's this week, to my knowledge. So he's going to be away there. He's getting some grinding done. So I'm going to hit him up. We're going to film an episode. That's not going to go up for a little while. Uh, and I think the game plan is right now to try and help him get an Arcanine. I ran the idea by him. So, because I think... I think that would be really freaking cool because Arcanines are dangerous as hell. So if I could get like, you know, a bird, Trinidon, to be able to like pick him up whenever he shoots the Arcanine or like pull him out of there as fast as possible, that'd be sick because those guys otherwise are incredibly deadly. Um, plus, I don't think he knows where exactly they are, like if they're, you know, the spawn in the Redwood Forest. But he did take a very good liking to my Arcanine when I ran by him before. Uh, also, didn't get too many berries because I kind of am pulling back again because we're about to do another episode right now. So, it's going to be weird. I have to hold off on this one and do some other stuff. But let me go ahead and drop that all in there. 12. And we'll be able to make ourselves, what is that? So, 19, 19 arrows. That's not going to be nearly... Actually, you know what? I just realized the beautiful thing about this is that we're taming a dinosaur and not a Pokemon. So I can look up Arc Bronto right now and see how much it would be to try knocking one of these guys out because it shows that. So taming with a knockout strategy, it would take... Um, so for a level 60, it would take 58 arrows. Uh, for a level 30, 35. <laughs> The only thing we could knock out is about a level 1 to 3, because those take 13 arrows. Uh, otherwise, we'd have to do some darts. And we also got a level up right there. Very cool. We're getting some really good levels on this. So I guess we'll put that into... I mean, melee damage... I don't see myself using melee damage all that much on this series, at least for right now. So I think I'm just going to immediately put that into um, movement speed. Because we're at a pretty low level right now. I could get that movement speed up and really make a difference. Because as much as... I mean, uh, you know, maybe melee damage is still nice, but I know we're just going to be taming quite a lot in the server, not battling too much like we would on traditional arc. So I'm not too phased about going with movement. Plus, movement speed is going to be nice for taming as well. Maybe I should have, like... No, I like having 300 away and 300 health. I was going to say maybe I should have only gotten, like, 200, 300, like, 200 health, 300, and then put the rest into m movement, but we're only level 42, so we're just getting started. Um, but yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead right now. I'm going to spend some time off camera gathering berries. We're going to end this one right here. We got ourselves a good Arcanine. I'm going to... Machamp, and we got an Argentavis. I'm going to have to grind up to get a saddle for that. Level 56, so it's not bad. Actually, you know what? I wonder what level... Is John a level 55? Because if he's level 55... Uh, you know, actually, hold on. You know what? Let me check. Um, where is Barry? Is it no Barry's not the name? Uh, is it Nara? I believe the name is Kara tamed the Tyrannid on the first place. So I wouldn't know. Where is where's not? Oh, Nara's in there for fun's sake. My brain's just going haywire right now. Uh, let me check and see the weight tolerance on Nara because if it's about three hundred, let me see here. What is your weight tolerance? It's only level or it's only one hundred seventy-seven. 
Um, I would have to pick John up, but then again, I guess all we really need to carry- We don't need to carry all that much. Just food and arrows and a couple of crossbows and just standard weaponry. So if I go ahead and put a level up into that, that's what, seven extra? Yeah, and then we also have the, um, what's it called? I do have my, uh, Vulpix on my shoulder, so I guess I'm gonna go do that. Question is to whether or not you guys will see the episode. What day is it right now? It's uh, Wednesday. So there might be a chance that this episode that I'm about to film might not be out uh, until after a couple of arcs that I've already recorded. So maybe this will be a little bit weird. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care. We will catch you all back next time. Ciao.